Okay, so the hinge theorem and its converse boils down to uh, the following. If you have two pairs of sides that are congruent, the bigger angle is across from the bigger side, and the bigger side is across from the bigger angle. So, for example, I've got the 70 here, and that's across from x. And then I've got the 65 here, and that's across from the 7. <coughs> so, which is bigger? The, s the side that's length 7, or the unknown side that's length x? Which is bigger? Well, hopefully you were thinking <coughs> that um, the x side is bigger, and we know that because the the bigger side will always be across from the bigger angle since we have uh, congruent sides. The sixes are congruent and the shared side is congruent. So <clears throat> given that, the bigger side will be across from the bigger angle. If 70 is bigger than 65, then x is going to be bigger than 7. So when they talk about a restriction on the value of x, they're talking about an inequality. X would have to be greater than 7. So that would be the answer number 12. Similarly, <clears throat> um, looking at this situation, uh, again, notice the 12 and the 12. <clears throat> Those are congruent. That's important. And of course, the shared side here in the middle um, is congruent. So, <clears throat> so we do have uh, two pairs of congruent sides. So given two pairs of congruent sides, um, the bigger angle is always going to be across from the bigger side. And the bigger side is always going to be across from the bigger angle. So focus on these angles. You see the 30 degrees. <clears throat> the 30 degrees is across from the 3x plus 2. You see the 38 degrees. The 38 degrees is across from the 12x minus 7. So, which is bigger, the 3x plus 2 or the 12x minus 7? I want you to actually answer this, even though there's nobody around. Which is bigger, 3x plus 2 or the 12x minus 7? Hopefully you were saying that the 12x minus 7 is bigger. Why? Because it's across from the bigger angle. 38 degrees is bigger than 30 degrees. So the bigger side would be across from the bigger angle. So that means the 12x minus 7 must be greater than the 3x plus 2. OK, so you can write that inequality. Now this, um, we can go ahead and solve. Number 12 it was already by itself. X was already by itself. This we'll, we'll solve. So for example, anytime I see X's on both sides of the equation, I want to get those together. So I'm going to go ahead and sub subtract 3X from both sides like this. Okay, so that's going to give me um, 9X minus 7 is greater than 2. All right, what am I going to do now? I'm going to add 7 to both sides. So that's going to give me 9x is greater than 9. Now what am I going to do to get x by itself? I'm going to divide both sides by 9. That makes 1. So the final answer is going to be that x is greater than 1. That would be the restriction on the variable. And that is how you do number 13 using the hinge theorem.